Hello everyone, we're coming to you live from Silicon Slopes here in Salt Lake City. I'm your host, Jack Castle, and joining me today is the CEO of Overstock.com, Jonathan Johnson. Jack, thanks for having me today. Absolutely, you're one of our few that have joined us a few times, and it's always such a pleasure to catch up, so thank you again. Love to be with for, the NASDAQ, it's great. Oh, we love that one, that's, make sure that's part of the commercial. Okay. <laughs> so uh, maybe to just kind of kick things off, tell us about the recent T0 investment. So uh, T0 is a company that we owned 80% of. It's a blockchain-based business. It's bringing blockchain technology to the capital markets. We think uh, T0's got a bright future. Uh, it's very exciting. And, and maybe taking that and dovetailing into bright futures, what's new at Overstock for you all? Boy, a lot going on. We're really focused on the home. So we had a kind of six quarter project where we were taking all of our non-home related products off the site. We finished that at the end of uh, the second quarter of this year. We're just about to launch a new brand campaign that will associate the well-known Overstock name with who we are. We're everything about the home. You know, we want to make smart dream homes come true for our customers. That's where we're headed today. Love it. Uh, and then I'm starting to see it. We're here in Salt Lake. Uh, I don't. I would say falls upon us. It's been warm uh, this week, but you're seeing the leaves start to change. Meaning holiday season is just around the corner. Um, how do you see holiday season or even shopping kind of playing out this year in 2022? So it's really not just around the corner. It's it's going here. on. Yeah, yeah, I think one of the trends we've seen this year is people are shopping earlier. People were buying Halloween-related seasonal stuff earlier. Uh, we've already got Christmas related stuff for sale on our site and it's moving. So I think there's a lot of interest in deals and people are expecting to find those earlier rather than later this year. Yeah, and speaking of those customers, um, Overstock's just such a well-known brand, but a lot of times you have to evolve the story and, and the strategies to attract those new customers. Uh, what are you doing differently this year uh, from years past. So like I said, we have this new branding campaign. It starts uh, next week, which is be a big deal. We also have more emphasis on our mobile app. Mm. Uh, each of the holidays this year, from, from President's Day to Memorial Day, Independence Day, and then Labor Day, we've had really good app adoption. And when our customers download the app, they become more loyal. That's been important for us to kind of have a two-way conversation with them. It's push and pull. That's been a good part of our business this year. And speaking of, uh, one of the general themes here is just kind of community and culture, and you've created such a great culture there at Overstock. Can you share a bit of how you've been keeping your employees engaged kind of as we've gotten through the pandemic and, and just through the, the next few years? Yeah, well, I think employee engagement is really difficult now because there's part of the workforce that wants to continue working from home. There's some that is willing to come back to the office or some that are eager to come back to the office. We've really put together a plan that we call FORWARD, our FORWARD plan, which is an acronym for Future of Remote Work and Reentry Design. Mm. It's an acronym <laughs> only Congress could come up with, but we found it too. Yeah. Uh, and it allows people to work from home. It lets each v v senior vice president determine the right cadence for their department. Mm. It's really not a one size fits all. And the focus is, how can we better connect? How can we better collaborate? How can we better communicate? Uh, and for some groups, that means continual, you know, work from home. For some, it's meant return to the office a couple days a week or twice a month. And so we think that's helped us uh, keep our culture, what we call our we are overstock culture, as we try and you know make dream homes come true for everybody. Love it. Well, we continue to be excited to watch your story unfold uh, on NASDAQ, of course, and it's always a pleasure having you here and getting to spend time with you. So thank you for joining us today. Jack, thank you for having me. Thanks for being at Silicon Slopes. It means a lot to Utah. Absolutely. Thanks. Thanks.